Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies coming at you with another Ash Wastes tutorial for Necromunda. Games Workshop very kindly sent me out a set of the beautiful new Goliath Maulers um, for me to make um, some content for you guys and to review. So that is what I'm going to be working on today, showing you guys how to get these Goliath Maulers, which look like kind of intimidating miniatures, um, all kind of squat and shoved together, um, beastly things, um, and how to break them all apart and get them painted up super quickly and um, get them uh, rooming around the ash wastes looking for pesky nomads. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to take the opportunity to thank my uh, Patreons for their continued support. Without you guys, I would not be able to make these videos, um, which make me so happy to make. So thank you guys so much for that. Anyone who is interested in joining the Patreon campaign, um, there's links to that below. Thank you guys so much and let's get into the video. Okay guys, here's the beautiful box that the Goliath Maulers come in. I'm very excited to get stuck into this project and show you guys how to get these models painted up. I've constructed one of the miniatures as you can see. Here's what it looks like all put together, but I'm actually going to be painting this miniature in sub-assemblies as it will just make it a little bit easier. So base comes off, side guns aren't stuck on, and of course the big brute himself comes out of his seat. I will be focusing 90% on how to paint the actual bike itself in this video as I do look um, forward to doing a just a solid Goliath by himself video. And that isn't to say I don't show you how to paint the guy in the video, I do. I just think I can go into it a little bit more detail in a future video. So as you saw, the bike was painted Chaos Black and then I went over it with Lead Belcher Spray. If you don't have Lead Belcher Spray, that's fine. Just paint the entire model, dark silver, bright silver, whatever silver you want, um, over as a kind of a basing point. I then use Flesh Tears Red, and this is just for all the panels on the bike that you want to be red. I was using the 360 on the Games Workshop website to kind of pick out the different patches and colors that they did, but obviously it's totally up to you how much red or black you want this thing to be. Whilst I was doing this, I also did all of the red armor panels across on the Goliath Brute himself. Black Templar was then used on the track um, section on the back of the Goliath bike and the big gnarly wheel on the front. I'm actually going to be using both of the black contrast paints, but they're they're quite different in color. Um, so I'm going to show you the differences in this video and like how they look. So the the one for the wheel on the track is obviously um, a little bit thinner, so the underneath color shows through a little bit better, which gives you better definition, um, especially on things like track sections on the big ball on the front. The uh, Black Legion contrast paint is much more solid, much more opaque, and it goes on a lot stronger. So we're going to be using this for all of the actual armor panels on the Goliath bike that you want to be kind of that jet black color scheme. And you'll see now I switch over to the Black Legion. I can't remember to get these right. Black Templar is the one we use on the wheels. Black Legion is the one we're going to use on all of the armor panels. I am going to admit that a lot of this footage I for some reason seems to get off camera with the angle. I was unaware if it was because the model was kind of pointed a lot higher than a normal model I painted that I did have to unfortunately cut a lot of footage because it wasn't in frame. Um, so I do apologize for that if anything is as, as good an angle as it should be I will do my very best to improve that in the near future. So here is the Black Legion as you can see it goes over these armor panels in a very solid coat. The metallic sheen is still going to come through. It's still going to look really good, but uh, definitely a lot easier to paint over um, panels like this. So I just took my time. Once again, same as before, I picked out the different panels that I wanted to be black. Like if you're going for the strictest, if the strict kind of art of the Goliath models that they've done, excluding the hazard stripes. I've shown you guys to do hazard stripes in videos before. If you want to do apply it to a Goliath bike, go for it. But it's basically just black, silver, and red. And you can decide which parts you want to be black, which bits you want to be silver, which bits you want to be red. It's, just, it's totally up to you. Uh, like I said, I followed the 360 guide on the Games Workshop website just to make it easier on myself. But obviously when I go around painting the second one, I probably will add some hazard stripes for fun and I might obviously swap it up to make them look more individual. Very quick and easy steps. Like I said, all we've done is contrast so far. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, I'm a big fan of using contrast to get all the base coats on a miniature. I think it just, it's so fast, so efficient. From here, we moved over to, I think a quick coat of Wildwood, and this is just for the seat. So all I did was one quick coat of Wildwood across his leather seat. Obviously there's no good roads in the wildlands um, out in the ash waste, so. Gonna have a nice cushioned seat. 
and I really saw a bump. Gollum and flesh was used um, for the big brutes and muscles. So any skin showing through on this miniature, we're just gonna give it a quick coat of Gollum and flesh. Nothing crazy. As you can see with the guy on the bike, Mr. Goliath himself, um, I used the same black as the wheels on his pants. And when it got to the silver stage, I obviously painted any parts on the infantry guy silver as well. With this, I then moved over to the Nolan oil and just shaded the entire miniature. Um, the actual process of me shading was unfortunately off camera, I missed that. So there is the miniature fully shaded and dried. And then we move over to Mephiston Reds to uh, start blocking in the first uh, major color and kind of pull the color up a bit. So Mephiston Red over all of the red parts, just a really quick, tidy highlight. Just to add some oomph back into the color. So many of you guys commented on oh, when I said it in one of my late, uh, latest videos. It was, it was quite funny. So yeah, just go through all of the bits you want to be red. You want to, of course, leave all of the shadowed bits that we've done in the recesses. We're just going to go for the more flatter panels where you know, light's going to hit it the most and give them a quick going over with the Mephiston red paint. We're going to do the same thing across the Goliath infantry's armor. Quick coat of red all across it. Nothing crazy. It already pops so much. I forgot to show the paint here, I do apologize, but it was the Corvus black base paint um, from Citadel is what I use to layer up all of the black armored panels across the, uh, the bike now. I'm a huge fan of using the Corvus black to layer up um, black because it's obviously got that touch of gray to it, so it doesn't sit as flat as just going over it with like an Abaddon black or something. And I do like to have a little bit of color in it. You never want a part to look like you just kind of sprayed it black, if you know what I mean. Because we do quick and easy schemes here, we're not gonna go in and do a lot of edge highlighting or anything like that. So these little tips will help. Same time we did the, the pants on the Goliath uh, biker. They are the same black color. Quick and easy step. From here, we're gonna use Cadian Flesh Tone and we're gonna quickly layer up all of the skin across the, uh, the Goliath Biker himself. His muscles are so well defined that it's actually a really easy step to go in and layer them up. Like I said in the video where I go onto just the Goliath Infantry, I will go into much more detail about painting the Goliath skin. But for the purpose of this video, I think this is more than enough to, uh, to cover your bases and get your Goliath guy painted. Iron Hand Steel was used to layer up all of the metallic parts across the bike. Same as doing the Corvus Black on the black parts and Fist on the Red and the Red parts. All we want to do is hit all of the kind of the flat raised areas on the bike. It gives them a quick going over with silver. And things like this big gnarly prows. Definitely don't want to be ridden down by one of these beasts. Like this is real time footage, so there's the spike done on this spike in about five seconds. No hassle, no crazy edge highlighting, no nothing. A quick coat of Retributor armor is used on all of the trim on the red armor on the biker. Goliath like their bling. So we're just gonna go over with it because it's such a thin line. I'm not even gonna bother highlighting it or anything, just because he obviously, he's obviously not the main focus of the miniature either, the bike is, that I'm gonna put my time into that. I'm gonna go back to Iron Hand Steel really quickly and I'm gonna have a medium uh, dry brush and I'm gonna, just gonna dry brush the black, uh, red and silver parts really quickly, just add a bit of scratching, a bit of uh, weathering to the edges of the bike. It's a super quick step, but it works a treat. Now I'm breaking all of the parts of the miniature off of their kind of temporary bases that I had them on while I was painting them. And I just super glued them, so it's a very quick and easy step. Here's the, the guns I didn't show you, but they're silver and black, same silver and black steps for the bikes the whole way through. Gluing all the parts together. And here we have our Goliath bike ready to storm his way out onto the ash wastes, either to protect his convoys or steal somebody else's, or just to be a menace to the, uh, the uh, noble citizens of the ash wastes. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed painting up this guy and um, I am looking forward to the future releases of Ash Waste. That as a setting has grabbed me quite 
are hard and I, I cannot wait to get a bunch of games in. As you can see, I've already done the uh, the Orlock bikes and the Nomad um, cockroaches things um, as videos already on the channel. So if there's any other uh, Ash Waste content you're looking for, please check out the rest of my videos on the channel. Okay guys, and there we have it. One Goliath Mauler ready to uh, race around the Ash Wastes um, causing absolute mayhem. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure that you put a, a like down below. Ask me any questions you have in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. And if for some bizarre reason you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. So two seconds out of your day, hit that subscribe button and uh, join in on the fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.